Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro. In this fall long, we are going to be working with ACR, or also known as container registries. So type in ACR at the top. Actually, if that doesn't work, type in container, and we will go to the registries, and we'll create ourselves a new registry. And that allows us to have multiple uh, container repositories or images hosted here on Azure. So I'm going to just type in my ACR, and we'll say OK. And the registry name is going to be my ACR. I'm just going to put a bunch of numbers here. So maybe 8080, um, 81. It probably doesn't like the hyphens. There we go. All the names are crazy. You just have to flip around to figure it out. We're gonna just choose basic because we can do everything we want on basic. We'll go ahead and hit review and create. And we'll give it a moment to allow it to start deploying. And we'll just wait till this is done deploying our registry. All right, so that took less than five seconds and we'll go ahead and go to that resource and so what we need to do is go to access keys. We're going to enable admin users so that we can actually log in via Docker to our image. So now what we need to do is get some repositories going. And if we go over to repositories tab, I don't think there's much we can do here. I don't know if we can create repositories directly here. I always just push. Yeah, so you don't, you don't have a button to say create a repository like GitHub, you actually have to push to it. So I'm gonna go to GitHub and I'm gonna create myself a new repository. I'm going to call under the other example, we'll say my ACR. It's already there, so I'll say new. And uh, we'll go down below. Actually, it doesn't matter. We'll just go ahead and hit create. And from there, I'm going to open this up in Gitpod. All you have to do to open something up in Gitpod is to attach this end here. You can also do this in your local environment, but you do have to have Docker uh, set up. And so that's why it's easier to use Gitpod. Now, Cloud Shell in Azure actually has Docker installed, but it doesn't run a Docker instance, so it's not that easy to work with. So it really is easier to just work with Gitpod here or locally if you have Docker installed. So we're gonna say Docker login, and then we're gonna provide the um, login server. We'll hit enter. It's gonna ask for our username. So that is our username there. So I'm gonna paste it in. It's gonna ask for our password. So I'm gonna copy that, paste that on in there, hit enter. And so now we can push to that repository, I'm gonna pull a image called Hello World. That's just a standard application to say Hello World. Uh, if we do like Docker run ITD, um, Hello World, I think that's what it is to type it. Whoops, I gotta actually spell it right. Then we could probably run it. Over here, there's like a Docker tab so we can see if it's running. Notice that it exited if we view the logs probably just says hello world. Yeah, hello from Docker. So there you go. That's a simple way of running a Docker container. And um, terminal will be reused for other tasks. Press any key to close it. So I just hit space there. ITDD or T I think is for the tag name. So it's called hello world. So we type Docker images, it shows up there. In I is for, I don't know, interactive. <laughs> D is for daemon. So it runs in the background. But anyway, we want to push this to uh, Azure. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to type in Docker uh, tag because we have to tag this image and we're going to choose the image ID here and then we need to provide the repository name. So I'm going to assume it's the login server and then we just say example hello world hit enter and then we can say docker push and then copy this here and that should push it over to Azure. We'll go back over here, give it a refresh. So our repository is there. So um, that's all it takes to push. So this is one part, but we'll uh, figure the other part next here soon, okay?